Portage is taking a shot at another Shelby GT500. Perhaps. All around the auto web, we've seen spy photographs and thunderings of another, more blazing Mustang and the name Shelby GT500 is being bandied about. Extremely, all we know for certain is that Ford is trying some Mustang models based off the Shelby GT350. We don't comprehend what these models are, what's driving them, or on the off chance that they're an indication that something cool is set out toward generation. Be that as it may, there are excessively numerous gossipy tidbits to disregard, so we've aggregated them all here. And keeping in mind that we don't realize what this Mustang will be called, on the off chance that it achieves generation, that is, we will allude to it as the GT500 starting now and into the foreseeable future. The GT500 is viewed as Ford's response to the 650 horsepower Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 and the 707 horsepower Dodge Challenger Hellcat, so everybody is foreseeing it'll get an effective V8. Nobody appears to concur on what kind of V8, in any case. As our partners at Car and Driver bring up, both another twin-turbo V8 and a supercharged V8 have been coasted as conceivable GT500 motors. Portage is trying the GT500 against some solid driving as well. Engine Trend detected a GT500 testing in Arizona with the Camaro ZL1, which appears like an undeniable target. All things considered, the past-gen Mustang GT500 and Camaro ZL1, both supercharged beasts, squared off in 2012. A more subtle adversary for the GT500 is the Porsche 911 GT3, however strangely, Mustang6G.com has photographs of Ford benchmarking one close to its Michigan Central Command. This doesn't imply that Ford is attempting to construct a GT3 equal, however. Automakers frequently benchmark different autos just to contemplate maybe a couple specific components. In spite of the fact that that influences us to ponder about the aim of the GT500, since its idea of as even more a drag strip exceptional than a track day auto.